it's clear we have in Ted in the Netherlands today so much fuss about a bike, you couldn't have that in another country. Well, Triodos Bank, the bank believes that profit doesn't need to be at the expense of the world's most pressing environmental problems. Well, that is a statement with all the problems we've had with banks in the last couple of years. So I give the floor to Matthijs Biermann. Hi. After the biker comes the banker. I am a banker, so let's talk about money. If your friend asks to borrow 50 euros, what do you ask? What do you need it for? Why? But have, uh, have you ever asked that question to your banker? Probably the only question you ask your banker is, what's the interest I get? Now there is an interesting difference. Funny word, interest. What is really your interest? What are you interested in? What would you say is our job as bankers? to make sure you get your money back, of course. But in the meantime, is it to make money or is it to make money work? How does your bank earn the money to pay your interest? The truth is, our money influences the world around us. That's not something we can choose unless we stuff it under a mattress, our money is always at work, somewhere. So, consciously or unconsciously, we affect the world with our decisions about money. Whether we take those decisions ourselves, or whether we leave them to our bankers. Money is power. When you entrusted your salary or study financiering or savings to your bank, did you not also hand over your power to your bank? What we do with our money, whether we spend it or lend it, depends on two things. How we relate to money and how we relate to the world. What is your relationship with money. There's an old Beatles song which goes, money can't buy me love. But in reality, are we not quite addicted to money? Certainly in Holland, we are guided by our wallets. At all levels, we want that pay rise because we think if we get it, we'll be happier. We want the cheapest food, otherwise we are a dief van onze eigen portemonnee. We invest on the stock market and demand that companies maximize shareholder value. We believe our country is healthy when gross domestic product goes up and ill when it doesn't. We are addicted. Admit it. To credit, to cheap fossil fuels, to stuff with all the usual symptoms of addictions, like denial. In the words of Paul Gilding, we use money we don't have to buy stuff we don't need, and in doing so, drive the ecosystem to the edge of collapse. And our response to the current crisis is only to do more of the same. How do we relate to the world, then? What is our world view? They say money is the root of all evil. But if it's the root of all evil, then it also has the power to be the source of positive change. They say money makes the world go round. But which way do we want it to turn? That depends on our world view. And how do you view the world? As a marketplace? As an ecosystem? As a human society? Which of those three systems 
is foremost in our minds when we make decisions. We tend, in business, to make our decisions based on business cases. Business cases calculate our return on investment. I'm sure many of you learned that in university. You take everything into account as long as it can be expressed in terms of money. The danger is, of course, that what is of value but not expressible in money does not count in the equation. I see the world as a system. It is one interdependent system. Everything we do, everything, impacts on other parts of the system. And we, therefore, are responsible for the consequences of our economic decisions, whether we consume or invest, whether we spend or lend. Our economic decisions have impact on human society and the ecosystem. So, we need to build that into our business cases as well. The real question is, what are then our leading values? Exactly that question we asked where it was never asked before. Namely, in the financial heart of the world, Wall Street in New York. Isn't it strange the stock market seems to be the most important way we measure our well-being? Rising stocks equal happiness, falling stocks equal despair. However, profit and loss is about a lot more than just money. And that's why we took over the most important ticker tape in the world, the NASDAQ, in New York. Triodos Bank may not be among the biggest banks in the world, but we are one of the most sustainable. We invest in people and businesses that contribute to a better world. For example, we invest in fair trade, in organic farming, in solar energy and culture. We invest in reducing poverty and greed, and improving education and health care. You can now invest in a sustainable future by becoming a co-owner of our bank. Follow your heart, use your head. Triodos Bank. With the money of their depositors, banks can choose to finance any company that will be able to pay back the loan with interest. Or a bank can be selective and lend only to companies which also make a positive contribution to society. To do so, however, requires a completely different kind of banker. One who sees the potential of values-driven entrepreneurs. One that checks whether entrepreneurs are both sufficiently inspired by a social or environmental purpose and sufficiently grounded to ensure a healthy business model. I will show you just a few fantastic examples as you've already heard many examples today, of social entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurs with a clear purpose. Initiatives which prove that making a positive social impact and making a profit are not contradictory, but strengthen each other. If we want to change society for the better, we cannot do so without the help of business. That's why it's called social entrepreneurship. Sensity. Sensity. Whichever way. Sensity organizes extraordinary dance events for deaf as well as hearing youngsters. Deaf people, of course, like no other, know how to stimulate all senses. Vibrating floor panels, dancing sign language interpreters, video and light shows, and even aroma jockeys, as you see here, Sensity coaches both deaf and hearing people, youngsters, to organize their own events. And organizing their own events dramatically increases their self-confidence. 
especially the deaf youngsters, become real role, role models for others. Now, how is that for a social return as well as a financial return? The vegetarian butcher. As a farmer and as a consumer, Jaap Korteweg became increasingly concerned about how we produce meat, our industrial approach to meat production, in which animals are merely seen as machines turning plants into meat. He wanted to create a truly tempting alternative for meat. But to win over die-hard meat lovers like himself, he combined forces with engineers from Wageningen University and top chefs to create a product which looks like meat, tastes like meat, and very importantly, has the bite of meat. At my last birthday, I, pres I prepared his chicken teriyaki, chicken teriyaki, and none of my friends, I promise you, noticed that they were not eating real meat. The vegetarian butcher, and I love the name, Vegetarische Slager, is a real success story. Their number of distribution points across the Netherlands is increasing very rapidly, and production can hardly keep up with demand. What you see here are fishermen in Cambodia, financed by Akleda Bank. Akleda Bank in Cambodia is one of over 90 microfinance institutions which are financed by Triodos Bank. Akleda started as a small microfinance NGO about 20 years ago, but now has over 230 branches world, uh, nationwide in Cambodia, and that makes it the biggest bank in Cambodia. However, it still focuses on making small loans to small-scale local entrepreneurs. And by making those loans, they acknowledge these entrepreneurs as what they are, real entrepreneurs, creating pride in paying back the loan, and thus uh, creating independence, and not the dependence you get when you give money. Aclida Bank is also a leading bank internationally amongst microfinance institutions. They're especially leading in helping other banks to improve uh, include sustainability into their lending criteria. So, for example, when uh, Eclida lends money to fishermen, they require them to use nets with a minimum size meshes, mazen, to ensure sustainable fishing. The fact of the matter is that financing environmental, cultural and social entrepreneurs is good business. Indeed, it is all we have ever done at Triodos Bank from the start 32 years ago with the money of our savers and depositors. To show our depositors exactly what we do with their money, we show each project on our website. As far as I know, we are the only bank in the world that does that. Banking for positive social, environmental and cultural change is an unstoppable movement as it expands internationally. Three years ago, with a few other banks, we founded the Global Alliance for Banking on Values. And by now, 15 front-runner banks from across the globe have joined, from Canada to Mongolia and from Denmark to Bolivia. I consider it our job as bankers, to connect people, to connect depositors and borrowers, and to reconnect people to the powerful, positive potential of money, of their money. Money makes the world go round. Actually, you can tell us in which direction. So, in fact, you are the bankers. Or indeed, we are all bankers. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you very much. On the website, you told us that 
uh, what, what you like, what, you, what has your passion, is that you are working for a commercial company who uh, works in, a, in an honest way, driven by values. And, well, we talked earlier this afternoon about relationship of capitalism to social capital and to, uh, well, how can we change things without abandoning the whole system. Can you tell us something more about this? What is this affinity of you with, well, working in a hard financial world and doing it in this way you, that has your passion? I strongly believe in that marriage between business and a social target. I worked before I joined Triodos Bank 16 years ago in development corporation, and I saw a lot of well-meant giving of money from a very clear social purpose, but because it wasn't built up as a business, as soon as the flow of donation money stopped, the whole thing fell apart. And I believe very much in building a healthy business along with uh, a very clear social and or environmental purpose because they strengthen each other. And that's the very core of Triodos Bank. So we are not anti-capitalism. We are part of the system. We're part of the banking system. But we want to show from within the system that banking can be done in a different way where the interest of a financial return is of equal importance with social return and environmental return. Yes, and you stressed also.